Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Fonte Cover here with another video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 12.1 official to an iPhone SE on iOS 10.3.3. So, as always, guys, stay tuned. Guys, okay, I'm going to put up both devices here iOS 12.1 official, iOS 10.3.3. And as I always say, SE is like the fast iPhone when it comes to booting up. I really love that. And yeah, iOS 12.1 was actually slightly faster here. So good stuff. Just gonna jump into the phones immediately. That was smoother than iOS 10 though. And guys, both phones here have nothing in the background as you can see. So calendar first up. That was exactly the same going for camera. Slightly faster than iOS 10. Going for maps. About the same, maybe iOS 10 was slightly faster, the difference was minimal. That was faster on iOS 12, good stuff. Going for a weather app, iOS 12, very nice. Going for App Store, that goes to iOS 12, definitely good stuff again. iTunes Store, that goes to iOS 10. Leaving, going for Phone Dialer, that was faster on iOS 12, good stuff. Safari, just gonna go for Apple.com. That was slightly faster on iOS 10, but the difference was minimal. Settings, about the same. iOS 10 was faster. Now we're gonna go for third party apps. So, first up, Instagram. And that seems was faster on iOS 10. Leaving, going for Snapchat. That was faster on iOS 12. Amazing. Keep it for iOS 12 is actually faster again. Going for YouTube. That was pretty much faster than iOS 12, though iOS 10 didn't pop up this thing with a premium subscription. So going for Google Earth, iOS 12 again, good stuff. Going for some GPU stuff, Mario Run, hoping that iOS 12 will stay faster here. Nope, doesn't seem like. And iOS 10 was faster. The difference was minimal though, not like iOS iPhone 6, for example. Jetpack Joyride. That seems identical to now. Yep, actually, no, iOS 12 was faster. Good stuff going for into the benchmark. About the same, iOS 10 was slightly faster. Temper on 2. Okay, loading page appeared first on iOS 10, and let's see the. Okay, so iOS 10 was faster. Though it lagged a bit while leaving. Going for Yelp. That was faster on iOS 12, for example. Now, guys, for some RAM management. So Yelp, Temper on 2. Onto the benchmark. Jetpack Joyride. Mario Run. Google Earth. YouTube. Geekbench 4, amazing. Instagram, they both had to refresh. Snapchat, settings, solid. Safari, phone, amazing. iTunes, solid performance. App Store, weather app. So another single refresh except for Instagram till now. Clock, nice. Maps, so both are doing good. Camera, nice. Finally, calendar. So not a single app except for Instagram was refreshed on both devices, though it refreshed on both, so I think it's a flow with Instagram itself. Otherwise, both phones were doing good. So guys, here just showing you the battery till now, so it's 89% here, the maximum capacity. Here it's 99%, so there's some difference. That's why this phone lost 2% till now, and the other one's still at 100%. Okay, guys, going for a Geekbench 4 test. All right, guys, both phones are done here, just like always, iOS 12.1. Gets a better score, good stuff here. Both single and multi-core scores are actually better here. The battery drainage is actually insane. So drop by 7%. Yeah, I know guys, this phone has high rear level, but still there's a lot of difference between and between these two devices. Right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison. I want to say guys that the iPhone SE on iOS 12.1 wasn't that bad at all. It could for battery life a bit because it has a higher rear level, I know guys, but still drained kind of more than it was supposed to. So still iOS 10 has better battery, plus guys, RAM management and CPU were actually epic on the iOS 12.1 SE, so it's super, super fast, I love it. So apart from battery, everything's great. So hope you guys like the video, subscribe for more content, and peace out.